Hi, so as you know, we sell this stuff on the shop, and I'll put a link in the description. It is graphene-coated plastic. The plastic's actually polyethylene tetrathalate, but it's a bit of graphene-coated plastic. Now, I made a solar motor out of that, which is uh, in a different video. I think it's called Daisy Motor. Uh, but, being graphene, it should have a pretty interesting electrostatic response, and I'm really interested in electrostatic speakers. So I thought what I would do with it is make an electrostatic speaker. Now, electrostatic speaker is pretty simple. It's basically a capacitor. And the varying um, current that goes in there, the varying voltage goes in there, sets up a varying capacitive field which forces those plates backwards and forwards and makes them vibrate. And that vibration we should be able to hear as sound. That's the theory. So I'm going to take the sound source out of the computer and I'm playing um, Ben Sound actually. So it's www.bensound.com and this particular one will buddy. So if you want some royalty free music, go there. It's, it's, I use uh, quite a few of those actually, it's quite good. So I'm going to take the sound source out of the computer, but that delivers only a few millivolts, about uh, 100, 200 millivolts. And it's not enough to drive this thing, because this thing is a step-up transformer. I actually think it's a flyback transformer. It's all potted up, so I can't really tell, and I got that from eBay. But there's my DC in, which is my negative, my positive, and here's my high voltage out. And I don't know which one's which. I don't know which is the negative, which is the positive high voltage, but it doesn't really matter. So that's my flyback transformer. Now, this works between 3 and 6 volts and outputs about 40 kilovolts. Hence the gloves, incidentally. I was playing with this earlier and I gave myself a bit of a shock. So Patty said, put some gloves on, you idiot. And I thought, yeah, sure. So I put some gloves on. Um, but this step-up transformer here, in order to drive the electrostatic speaker, needs a higher voltage input. So I've taken the sound source and I've put it through this thing. It's a ProSound 200 watt amplifier. So all I've done is plug the computer into the amplifier and take a couple of leads out the output jack and uh, connect that to my high voltage generator and that'll act as my step up for the sound source. So a really simple bit of electronics to get this thing working. Then all I have to do is construct my capacitor which is plastic graphene plate, bit of plastic to separate them and plastic graphene plate and obviously I now need to connect those to the high voltage source, so just clip one on there and onto the one high voltage and this one on here and onto the other high voltage. Okay, we're ready. If I play that song now, we should get a response out of that. Okay, that is working and I'm going to give you a close-up. So there it is, and you can see that it's just bouncing up and down. And if you listen carefully, you can just hear the sound. So it does work, uh, and mostly it's actually so bad because it's badly made. So okay, that was rubbish. But if you think about why it was rubbish, then it's because everything's so badly made. So it works by vibrating. All of this is bouncing around and there's an awful lot of loss involved in here. So the first thing you would want to think is to take this plate and fix it so only the centre portion was bouncing and all these edges weren't. And that's the first improvement that I made, was to take a bit of that graphene coated plastic and just stick it on a bit of firm acrylic, making this tight drum here. And I did that by blowing a hairdryer over it. That caused um, shrinkage and it tightens everything up. So we've got a nice tight drum surface there that's firmly adhered to this bit. Now, obviously, if I clip onto that, which I can do, then it's going to work. But if we make a better contact, so I put a bit of graph oil on it and clip onto the graph oil, then we should have a better contact and again, less losses with a nicely firmly fixed surface. So that was the improvement I was thinking. The other thing is the strength of that field is related to the distance the two plates are away from each other. Now, this lump of plastic is actually pretty thick. Now we are putting 40 kilovolts, a maximum 40 kilovolts through this, so we need something that can withstand that 40 kilovolts. So I had a look around and I came up with this. And it's actually just ordinary tracing paper. It's about 60 micrometers thick instead of 120, which is that other one was. So I'm going to use that as the separator. Now, the other thing was um, this bottom bit. This is also bouncing around. So if I firmly fixed that, we get another improvement. Or I could do another window and put them back to back and have sound coming out of both sides of the speaker. But for this, I'm just going to put that thinner separator on and I'm better mechanically adhered 
plastic film on there, and then connect that up. And this time, we'll get a much better response. OK, I have no problem at all hearing that from where I am. But I'm going to give you a close-up and you see the surface bouncing and have a better idea of what the sound is like. So if you look carefully, you can see the surface bouncing up and down. And the sound there is much, much, much better. So there you go. I actually think it's a pretty um, impressive electrostatic speaker and it's made just really from our uh, graphene coated plastic which you can get on our store and this thing which is the high voltage driver. I just got this on eBay. It's uh, 36 volts in, 40 kilovolts max out. Um, we don't stock this. We might start stocking it actually because I am going to do some experimentation with the high voltage and electrostatic later so we might do. But we took that, glued it onto there, laid it up made a speaker out of it. There are tons of improvements that can be done on that and there's plenty of experimentation to be looking at. Like what kind of surfaces you put on, what kind of driving can you use, what different materials here you can use, all that sort of stuff. Plenty to do. I thought it was uh, really interesting and I hope you did too. So thank you for watching.